what the Orange Bowl committee does uh, for the community, like you just said, what they do for youth sports, I think it's amazing. You could drive around anywhere in South Florida and see a field that was redone by the Orange Bowl or helped by that, a field, whatever the case may be, in any kind of neighborhood down there. It doesn't even matter. I think it's amazing what the Orange Bowl does for the community. How much do you hear back from people after a field's been built or redone or whatnot, how much do you hear from people out there, the thank yous or the, wow, what have you done? Like, thank you so much for what you've done for our community. Well, I've seen it personally. Uh, I'm involved in other organizations like Special Olympics, mm -hmm. and I have seen where we have been able to use Moore Park, which was one of our legacy programs to uh, renovate. And when I was out there, not only did I see our Special Olympics athletes competing, but other members of the community, including older members of the community. So, you know, they, we touch not just the youth, but the whole of our community. And, you know, one of the funny stories that I have been telling is we clearly see the impact because on two of the fields that we renovated most recently in Broward County and in Palm Beach County, they were played on by two of our members, our Yay. Orange Bowl members. Uh, when they were involved in youth football. Wow. And so we see how youth football can impact the futures of those young people who are out there playing um, as these young men who are now not such young men anymore, but, you know, <laughs> they're very now, now very impactful on, in the community to the point where uh, they are members of the Orange Bowl Committee. Yeah, that's pretty cool when you it, see it, someone who did play in youth, right, on one of those fields, Absolutely. Right? It's a very cool story. All right, so what are the things, uh, some of the things you're focused on as year one as president as the Orange Bowl Committee? Well, we've been really busy, uh, you know, continuing with those legacy projects and the other community impact programs. But, you know, one of the focuses of my presidency is to make sure that we continue to be a vital part of the postseason college football as it's evolving. Right. So this is our last year uh, being uh, a traditional Orange Bowl where we'll have the ACC champion and the highest ranked Big Ten uh, Notre Dame or SEC team on in our game. And then uh, the next year we'll be involved in the 12-team playoff as a uh, semifinal and the year after that as a quarterfinal and this year we're really trying to work with our partners uh, with the CFP and with the different conferences to continue the legacy that the Orange Bowl has established. Uh, we are a vital part of the tradition of, of, our, of uh, college football. 100%. Uh, particularly the, the postseason and you know as it progresses and evolves uh, we want to make sure that that legacy and that tradition continues at the highest level. I 100% agree, and I'm glad that, that everyone is hopefully on the same page with that because there's nothing like the Orange Bowl game. There's nothing like the traditional bowl games, and we don't want to get rid of I'm glad we have expansion of playoffs. I'm glad 12 teams are going to be in it. By the time it's all said and done, there'll be like 20, I'm sure, you know, 30 years from now, 20 years from now. But I want the traditional games to stay the way they are and to be the big game and to have one year the Orange Bowl, like you said, as a semifinal or a quarterfinal or host the national championship. It's got to be a part of that because losing that's losing a lot of college football. And Orange Bowl just screams tradition to me. And, and uh, growing up in South Florida, and I spoke with Eric about this too, it means a lot. It means Absolutely. a lot having that Orange Bowl game. And it should be in the rotation. And it has been, and it shouldn't stop from there. And I don't care how far we expand down the road. But I think it's something that everyone agrees on too. You speak to coaches around here. You speak to executives around here. Bill Hancock around here. We talk about the Orange Bowl. And it's a traditional game that can't go anywhere. So I'm glad we're fighting for it. I'll stand on the roof. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> but I'll stand on the rooftop here and scream it if you need me to at that point to keep it uh, the way it is. Um, I spoke with Eric. I spoke with Mike. Orange Bowl cares. Tell me more about that. Well, Orange Bowl Cares is uh, has four pillars. We uh, are involved in youth sports. We're involved in education, in community outreach, and in the legacy parks like you talked about. So, you know, with our youth sports, we support uh, football, uh, youth football. We support cheerleading. We support a girls' golf program that I think is really amazing. We have prepared a lot of young women to be able to have the opportunity to take to uh, qualify for golf scholarships, which we learned a number of years ago went unused mm. in many cases. Wow. And you know now these young women are learning this game that not only is impacting their life and their potential for an education, but we all know 
in the business world what an important mm -hmm. game golf is. And uh, we want to make sure that when these girls grow up to be women, that they're able to be right there in the mix and, you know, not sitting in the clubhouse. Uh, <laughs> like you know. me. I sit in the clubhouse, right. Or I'll drive <laughs> the car. The, right, right yeah. after the deals have been made. <laughs> so, you know, it's a really impactful program. Uh, we're involved with uh, girls sports in, in uh, softball, fast pitch softball. Uh, so a lot of different areas of sports. We do media makeovers uh, in the middle schools and elementary schools. We have a very impactful uh, program for leadership uh, called our Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. And we have our members who are active participants in that in mentoring middle school students. And then um, we talked about those legacy parks that right. we turned around. We've had six so far from Palm Beach all the way down to Homestead. Amazing. And uh, then we we're engaged in a lot of different uh, community or uh, activations, I'll call right. them. Right. Uh, one that's coming up, we have our Family Fun and Fit Day. I believe it's August the 12th, uh, which is a couple Saturdays from now. And it'll be just in time for school to be starting. We'll be uh, handing out school supplies and backpacks and uh, offering uh, free haircuts. There'll be a number of vendors out there. And this is going to be up in uh, Fort Lauderdale um, at um, Orange Bowl Field. That's right, Carter Park. At Carter yep, Park. Off Sunrise exactly. Boulevard. One of the first parks, by the way, that I because I drive down Sunrise all the time and I'm going out east, I see that all the time That and what that field has transitioned into. What a great job. Just one example of what a great job you guys have done really taking the parks that I've known forever. That I've, If you're a South Florida person, you know most of these parks that we're redoing or you're redoing for the Orange Bowl, and they look tremendous. They're awesome for kids. So I thank you on behalf of the rest of South Florida, too, because you guys do a great job with that. That is, by the way, Saturday, August 12th, Orange Bowl Field, Carter Park in Fort Lauderdale, right off Sunrise Boulevard, the Orange Bowl Family Fun and Fit Day. So that's good stuff. Yvonne, I treated you okay in Francis Corner, right? You're good? Oh, you're great. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because it's your <laughs> second appearance, and I hope it's not the last one. We talked before about the Food and Wine Festival, which I had a fantastic time on, another Me great too. event. You guys Me put too. on such a good event for that one. My wife looks forward to that, Eitra. My wife goes, have you heard from my kid or? any of the guys yet for the and i'm like it's coming up don't worry well, we know let her know that we're going to be in a little bit different um venue this year Ooh. so it'll be exciting nice tease. There'll, there'll be yeah. a, a, a nice little change wow. so be on the lookout I love, what a great, you're like a radio pro. That was a radio tease there. That was fantastic. Avon, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your time here at Big Ten. I know you've been all over the last couple of media days. I saw you last week. Uh, thanks again for helping with Brian Kelly. We really needed him as an interview, and you solidified that for awesome, us. Awesome, awesome. So we, but I do appreciate your time, and thank you for coming on Cranston Corner. All right, Corner. well, thanks for all the support and love you showed at Orange Bowl. That's right. <laughs> Avon Johnson Phillips, President and Chair of the Orange Bowl Committee, joining us here on the Capital One Orange Bowl Media Tour, presented by Duffy's Especially edition of Crancis Corner.